Good morning. There are some seats uh, here that want to invite you to join us if you'd like. I want to say good morning and thank you for joining us as we dedicate the Callan Athletic and Academic Expansion. My name is Will Smallwood. I have the honor of serving as the Vice President for Advancement here at Cedarville. And we are delighted that so many of you here in the room and joining us via live stream are here to celebrate a significant expansion to our university facilities. Present today are alumni and friends and donors to this facility, members of our esteemed faculty, staff and administration, and representatives from our fantastic partners at BHDP Architecture and Danis Construction. The Callan Expansion is the third of six new facilities being added to Cedarville's campus as part of the 1,000 Days Transformed Campaign for Cedarville. In 2020, we dedicated Chick-fil-A and the Civil Engineering Center. This week, we dedicate the Callan Expansion and a new Women's Residence Hall on Friday. Across the parking lot, you can see the beginnings of the Scharnberg Business Center which we will break ground officially on September 30th, even though we've broken ground. <laughs> and we look forward to a future construction project, a facility on State Road 72 that will house classrooms and academic spaces. We have much to be grateful for here at Cedarville, and we praise God for his provision to us. We thank him especially for you, those who have faithfully given financial resources, time, careers, careful thought, and prayer to make this building and all that Cedarville does possible. Thank you for your partnership in standing for the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. This building is unique in that it houses both athletic and academic programs. We're grateful for the leaders God has called to serve our students in both of these areas, and we get to hear from them today. So will you please join me in welcoming Mr. Chris Cross, our Director of Athletics. On behalf of Cedarville Athletics, our student athletes, coaches, and department staff, I would like to thank you all for being here today. I'd like to especially thank the Cedarville University Board of Trustees, President Thomas White, and all the donors who made this expansion possible. We are incredibly thankful for all of your support and generosity in giving toward this remarkable facility. Every dollar that's invested into this project is allowing us to provide our student athletes with an excellent experience. I would also like to thank BHDP and Dana's Construction for planning and constructing this facility, so thank you guys. Cedarville University Athletics fosters a distinctive culture and competitive athletics that commissions student athletes to impact the world for Christ. We have long been recognized as having one of the most well-respected athletic programs in the country and a rich history of athletic success. This success was demonstrated this past year as we watched approximately 300 student athletes compete and earn five NCAA Division II National Championship appearances and one Great Midwest Athletic Conference Championship. Our student athletes not only excelled on the athletic field, but in the classroom as well. 183 GMAC all academic team selections. A 3.44 cumulative GPA for our student athletes. A 3.4 G GPA, that's unbelievable and nine consecutive NCAA president, oh, President's Awards for Academic Excellence. And those are just a few of the athletic, or excuse me, academic accolades. We were also celebrating the success of a, a recent graduate, Rachel Sweeney Bredesen. Not only was she selected as the GMAC Woman of the Year and the GMAC Scholar of the Year, but she's also in the running to be honored as an NCAA Woman of the Year. Thanks to Dr. Don Callen, who's here with us today. Don cast the vision 
of representing Christ and spreading the gospel through athletics. A vision that hasn't changed today. I also want to thank Dr. Alan Geist who started this project and had a vision for providing an area second to none in Division II athletics. This state-of-the-art facility is a step forward for our student athletes as they prepare for competition. Our student athletes inspire challenge and humble me as they serve and represent our Lord and Cedarville University. Their impact is truly far greater than the game. The team room will be a place where student athletes can fellowship, deepen their relationship with Christ, prepare for competition via film study, and prepare academically as well. This unbelievable weight room provides top of the line Sorenex equipment specifically designed for performance training for athletes that will allow our student athletes to prepare physically for the demands of NCAA Division II competition. These facilities are a major step forward for continuing the success of the Cedarville University Athletics Program and helping us provide our student athletes with an excellent athletic experience. We look forward to what God has in store for us this year. And again, we are so grateful for each and every one of you and your support of this incredible facility. Thank you. This facility houses both uh, athletic and academic areas, and so at this time, I'd like for you to join me in welcoming Dr. Evan Helwig, Dean of the School of Allied Health, to the podium. Thank you. On behalf of all of the faculty, staff, and students associated with the School of Allied Health, I want to express my sincere gratitude for all who contributed to this beautiful, well-equipped facility, which will significantly move Cedarville University forward as a leader in healthcare education. The School of Allied Health stands on the shoulders of the School of Nursing and the School of Pharmacy, who have blazed the trail and laid the foundation for two new programs here at Cedarville. The new expanded portion of the building is now home to the PA program whose mission is equipping and discipling the next generation of Christian PAs. These state-of-the-art facilities include a clinical laboratory with 10 hospital bed teaching stations, a 32-seat classroom, and faculty office and conference space which will help to make this mission a reality. In addition to the expanded portion of the building, some of the original space upstairs has been refurbished to provide classroom and clinical laboratory space for the Master of Athletic Training program, which carries a 27-year history of athletic training education at the undergraduate level and now at the graduate level in order to stay compliant with ever-changing professional standards. Cedarville recently received another 10-year renewal of its accreditation from the Commission of Accreditation for Athletic Training Education. These new facilities take Cedarville to the next level of preparing students who will influence the sports medicine community for Christ. I would also like to highlight the fact that due to your generosity and the support of the trustees and administration, by providing additional office space for athletics in the downstairs portion of the new building, some of the space upstairs, which was being utilized by athletics, is now available to be refurbished to meet the needs of our new graduate programs by providing much needed student collaboration space. Healthcare education is, ex is an expensive endeavor and the competition to deliver it well is fierce. God has always been faithful to Cedarville by moving generous donors to help fund the vision and mission. On behalf of all of the students who have already benefited from your generosity and, and, in, and in anticipation of hundreds and even thousands who will walk these hallways and learn in these laboratories and classrooms, I thank you and praise God for what we are celebrating today as we dedicate this new facility for the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ.
Thank you, Dr. Helwig. At this time, will you join me in welcoming our president, Dr. Thomas White, to the platform. There's a big crowd of you in the back back there. Y'all can squeeze on in if you'd like to. What a great facility. What an awesome space that we have created here through many of you and your generosity, God's provision, the vision of so many others. For those of you that may be wondering, at Cedarville University, we care a lot about our academics and we care a lot about our athletics. We like both of them. We've been committed to excellent education for every student who enrolls here. You heard a little bit about how well our athletes are doing. But we also believe in dominating in the name of Jesus. So we will do our best to dominate on the court, the fields, and everywhere else, and then pray for them afterwards and lead them to Christ as the Lord allows. So today we're here with grateful hearts as we dedicate the expansion to a facility that will touch both of these vital areas. And we're really thankful to work with such good partners at Danis as they help make this happen. We've got John Danis, I see down here sitting in the front row. I saw Troy sneak into the back back there at some point in time. Would you join me in just expressing appreciation to such good partners that build with excellence? Thank you so much for all you've done. See our Chancellor Paul Dixon sitting over there with some other well-known people, including Don Cowan, who helped start the vision for all of this. As we think about the Cowan Athletic Center, it has such a long history of excellence. It's been the home to Yellow Jacket basketball, men's and women's, and to volleyball as well. Built in 1981, it was named in honor of legendary basketball coach Don Cowan. Now, thanks to the Lord's gracious goodness and generous donors, this impact will increase as it continues to serve both our athletes and our academics. On this first floor, you're sitting here looking at it, our students will enjoy a dedicated athletic weight room. Now, I think the word enjoy may be quite a stretch there because I know what they're gonna be doing in here and so our athletic trainers and weight coaches will enjoy this room while torturing our student athletes to make them better. But our athletes will be stronger and Lord willing, our athletes will prevent injuries because they're going to be trained in the right ways, and so we're going to continue to serve them well. I can just imagine teams and coaches gathering in the team room that's directly behind us back here as they gather and have those conversations that change lives. Have those times of prayer. Have those Bible studies. Have those pregame opportunities where they're looking at film and things of that nature so that they can grow in their relationships all focused on glorifying God. Upstairs, there's classrooms, faculty offices, laboratories. For our newest graduate program, the Master of Athletic Training, which started this summer, and the Developing Physician's Assistant Studies program, which will start, Lord willing, in May of 2023. Some of you may know that we had one person in particular who had a dream for a PA program here at Cedarville many years ago. It started in the mind of one of our faculty members, and she's here with us today. Dr. D. Morris, we are thankful for your dream of having a PA program here at Cedarville. But what you may not know is that there is an anonymous donor who has named the PA, PA director's office upstairs in your honor. Would you join me in expressing appreciation to Dee Morris for her years of service to Cedarville? <laughs> We're going to do our best to continue that commitment to see all of these athletes trained well, to see the PA program that trains our students well, to carry on for the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. The person who'll be occupying that office actually sitting in the room here as well, Jason Graham. That's a long story that we don't have time to tell you about today, but Jason Graham, who is the inaugural director of the PA program and the associate professor of PA studies, before his return to Cedarville, he had a thriving career. He was in sports medicine as a key leader at the Eastern Virginia Medical School's PA program. And in 2017, he actually told his pastor, he said, 
I don't think I'll ever leave here. The only reason I would ever leave here is if I could do what the Lord has called me to do at a Christian university, you know, a place like Cedarville. And wouldn't you know it, it's exactly what God had in mind. He left a much better climate to come on God's mission to help develop the next generation of PA students and to do so in a way that would honor Christ. Jason, this PA program wouldn't have happened without you. We're thankful for you. I'm glad you're here. Would you join me in expressing appreciation for the endless hours of work? So this is just the beginning. We're gonna spend hours in here preparing excellent athletic trainers upstairs and PAs upstairs and making our athletes even better than they already are down here in the first floor. But unlike other universities, all of these graduates and athletes will be equipped to make a gospel impact because that's what it's all about. It's ultimately all about the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. So will you join me in praying that God would continue to bring Christian athletes to Cedarville who would desire to use their sports to reach the world for Christ? Would you join me in asking God that our MAT and PA programs would send out Christ-honoring medical professionals ready to make a difference? And as we dedicate this expansion today, would you join me in praying that everything that takes place within these walls would glorify King Jesus until he comes? Dr. Suplee, would you come and voice that prayer for us even now? If you would pray with me. Dear Father, we come to you this morning with thankful hearts. This expanded facility is a gift ultimately from you, and we're so thankful. You've been gracious and generous to Cedarville University, and we are humbled. We are filled with praise, and we're rightfully celebrating you as the giver of good gifts. While we thank you for a building, we pray for your blessing on the faculty, the coaches, the staff, and especially our students who will train and study and be equipped inside these walls. We acknowledge that true spiritual transformation happens only when your Holy Spirit is working in and through us. And so we ask that lives will be changed because of time spent with you and those who love you in this place. I pray for our student athletes who will work out in this weight room, that they will become not just strong physically, but strong spiritually. I pray that they will remember that physical training is good, but training for godliness is much better, promising benefits in this life and in the life to come. I pray for their protection and their safety. For the new team room where our students and our coaches will gather, I pray that as they prepare for games and meet new recruits and celebrate victories, that that space would also be a place where prayers are offered for opposing team members where athletes find a quiet place to read your word, and where coaches mentor and disciple their team members towards spiritual maturity. Lord, I think of the space upstairs for our new PA program. We have seen you answer so many prayers in the development of that program, bringing us outstanding faculty, helping us to secure clinical sites, and now providing the beautiful offices, lab, and classroom spaces that will house our program. We boldly ask that you would continue to work on our behalf. Grant us favor with the PA Accreditation Board that will review our application in September. Give us a full cohort of 30 students to start next May. And Lord, we pray that through Cedarville's program, you would raise up PAs who love you with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength, and they serve with Christ-like compassion and skill. Lastly, I lift up our new athletic training program at the master's level, our first group of students and their faculty. I pray that you would give them a sensitivity not just to treat sports injuries, but to offer the hope that comes only through your son, Jesus Christ. Father, it's an exciting day of celebration. Thank you for these new facilities. We dedicate them to you with grateful hearts. Use them for your glory and your purposes. In our Savior Jesus' name, amen.
well, it's time to cut the ribbon. And so um, joining our, our program participants, those who are on the platform, if you would come to uh, the ribbon. I'm going to ask Dr. Jason Graham, director of our physician assistant program, Dr. Mike Weller, director of the Masters of Athletic Training program, uh, Mr. Dave Lippincott from BHDP, and John Danis from Danis Construction, if you would come and gather around. Well, thank you again for joining us today. I want to invite you to uh, spend some time exploring this uh, fantastic new facility. There will be uh, staff around to answer any questions that you have, uh, both downstairs and upstairs. Please feel free to, to look around. And just in case you need to get that workout in, you're surrounded by over 7,000 pounds of weights. <laughs> so thank you for joining us today. We are dismissed. Thank you.